All oh, right, Jira pork. The first time I cooked this, it was uh, I used the Taste of Trini recipe, the ultimate Jira pork, which I'll uh, put a link up to. And uh, since then, I've, I've um, developed it a little bit for my own sort of taste and my own speed of doing things, the lazy way. And I've come up with this. So uh, this is just my, my version. I'm not claiming it to be greatly authentic or anything like that. Uh, but I'll just show you the, the way I I do it. Um, right, for this, I've, I'm using 500 grams of belly pork, which I've cut into these little thumb-sized pieces. The, the, the belly pork in this case has got no rind on it at all. And that's just how I buy it. I buy it like that in 500 gram packs. Uh, you'll need some uh, oil or some uh, some kind of cooking oil. Uh, you'll need some jeera. I've got about four t four heaped teaspoons of jeera in there, which has been uh, which have roasted uh, until it's gone a couple of shades darker. And that's um, what I like to do is grind that up with a pestle and mortar. So I've got it in there ready. Whenever I cook meat without any bones. What I tend to do is add, is add some sort of meat stock to it and because it's pork I'm adding a chicken stock and this is my this is my jeera that I've been using which is otherwise known as cumin. I've got um, a couple of tablespoons of Caribbean green seasoning again there'll be a link to my favourite recipe for that um, in the description and above. I've got a medium sized uh, brown onion which I've chopped up. Uh, I can't get pimentos at the moment so I'm using these fairly uh, medium heat spur chilies which I've chopped up. I've got about four or five cloves of garlic again and I've got half of a hot pepper uh, which is a, um, a scotch bonnet pepper and that gives quite a lot of heat. Uh, you'll also need a bit of salt and black pepper. The first thing I'm going to do is grind up my spices. And what I like to do is I like to get in there and mash these up with a pestle and mortar. Um, the reason I like to do it that way is because I think it, it, it improves the flavour of, of the finished spice. And what I like to do there, once I've got it ground down a little bit, is I add a bit of salt into there. So that's about half a teaspoon of salt. And I like to grind it up fairly fine, but not too fine, because I like the, the, the lumps. Um, of a fairly large spice which cling to the meat and I really enjoy that. So into my uh, bowl of chopped pork what I'm going to do is I'm going to add about a third of that spice mixture now. So that's a heap teaspoon, maybe a little bit more and get that in there. Into that I'm going to put some black pepper can. Some more salt. I want about to make it up to just over a teaspoon of salt because we can always adjust for salt later. Into that goes my Caribbean seasoning, my green seasoning, and I mix that all in nicely. Lots of lovely spices in there creating a wonderful flavour in the meat. Now what I want to do now, mix that in thoroughly and then let that marinate. You want to let that marinate for overnight or at least about four hours to improve the flavour. You don't have to marinate it um, but it certainly will improve the flavour if you do. I'm going to go ahead just for the uh, demonstration and instruction purposes in this video and uh, cook it right now. So first of all I'm going to use this pan so you can see into it 
a little bit better. Okay, that's coming up to heat. Into the pan goes some oil, just enough to coat the bottom of the pan. And into that I want to get my onions, my pimento, or in this case my red chilies, and my hot pepper. That's half a habanero, uh, sorry, half a scotch bonnet pepper. I'll let that stir around a bit. starts to turn translucent I'm going in with my garlic keep that moving because I don't want any of this to burn and garlic has a fairly high sugar content and it, it will burn if you leave it unattended and we all know that burnt garlic tastes very bitter right now into that goes all my pork. I normally use a deeper pot for this but I thought for demonstrating it it's going to be a little easier if I use a shallow pot which I've done. I need to keep stirring and frying that now to allow the meat to brown. Once all the meat's taken on a bit of colour, what I'm going to do now is add another. So half of my remaining mixture now goes in. And I'm keeping some back for adding right near the end of cooking time. So that's more jeera in there and we'll continue cooking that down. The first time I tried this wonderful dish was at Queen's Park Savannah in Port of Spain, Trinidad. And it, it just completely blew me away. It lit me up and blew me away because it was so good. And uh, I remember sitting at the back of the, the car sharing it with the uh, with my friends, my Trini friends, and having a whale of a time. I also had some um, pig foot sauce, which was rather nice. I like to use belly pork for this because uh, there's something about the way the fat renders down and makes it all so delicious and rich. All right, I'm going in with my stock cube, a chicken stock and about a cup of water mix in the stock and then I'm going to let that cook and reduce for a while now and then we'll get back to you alright I've got it up to it's big, boiling rather vigorously so what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower the heat a little bit so that it goes down to a fast simmer and then I'm going to allow that to cook and reduce a little okay I've let that simmer for a while with the lid on because I want to preserve some of the juice and you can reduce this now until it really clings to the meat and serve it as cutters or as an appetizer, you know, with cocktail sticks, something like that, uh, to help your beer go down nice. Um, or you can serve it as I'm going to do. I'm going to serve this as a main course uh, with some uh, rice. Uh, but at this stage, very near to the end of cooking, I'm going to introduce some more 
of that jeera. So it's the remaining jeera is going in there. All of it, get it all out of there. And get that stirred in. And this was suggested by my friend Taste of Trini on her recipe. And it really works. It really gives it that lovely little punch right at the end. Super. I'm going to give that a taste. I know it's going to be amazing, but I'm going to taste it anyway. Yeah, that's on the money. It's fiercely hot and peppery. <coughs> but I think today that is just what the doctor ordered. If you have enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to follow my channel please subscribe and be sure to click the bell icon to receive notification of all my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.